All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're gonna to be working in the February year one strength training section where we really focus on those estimates and purchase orders. At the top here is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for Craig this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz that relates to the video up above. Below that are all of the exercises in this section. And then once you have completed all of those exercises, there is an optional area where you can use some of these sample posts on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's go ahead and dive right in our last exercise in the strength training section where we practice creating a partial invoice from the estimate. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up for you. I have it here on the right hand side. So let's read through the scenario. Craig would like, well, Craig would like developer photography to pay half the cost now and the other half when the job is complete. So let's send out that first invoice. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercises in. If you have not completed those exercises yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to the first exercise in this section. Complete that and all the ones after that until you get back to this one. They all build on each other, so it's really important to start with that first one. Now let's get started with the exercise. Since you will be sending two invoices for one estimate, start by turning on pro progress invoicing. To do so, we need to click on the gear icon and then select account and settings. So here I am in the sample company. This is the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. On the type, top right corner of the sample company is the gear icon. Go ahead and click on that. And then under your company, you will see account and settings. Go ahead and select that. Now we need to turn this on in the sales tab. So let's click on sales. That is over here on the left-hand side. Sales is the third one down, click on that. And now in the progress invoicing section, we need to make it editable by clicking anywhere into it and then clicking on the toggle next to create, create multiple partial invoices from a single estimate. So scroll down a little bit. It is uh, about middle of the page here. Here is progress invoicing. Go ahead and click anywhere in that or you could have clicked on the pencil icon on the right hand side. There is only one toggle in here. Go ahead and click on that so that it turns it on. Now you will need to switch to the most recent version of the invoice template. So go ahead and click on the green invoice or uh, update uh, button right there. When you do, uh, you will see that this toggle is green, which means that it is turned on. So we are all good here. Let's click on the green save button right there. You can see that it is turned on. So we are all good. Let's go ahead and click on the done button. That is down here on the bottom right corner of the sample company. And now that setting has been saved for us. Next, find the estimate that we created in the previous exercise. To do so, we're going to click on the Customers tab that is right here towards the top. Click on that. And then we want to click on the light blue estimate box to see the list of estimates. That is right here. You can see that there is one estimate showing and I bet you it's the one that we are looking for. So click on that light blue so that we can only see the estimates pulled up here. And sure enough, there it is. It is the one for Gavelber Photography. In the action column on that line, we want to click on Start Invoice. That is right here. Click on that. The estimate will appear in the drawer on the right hand side here. This is called the drawer over here on the right hand side. Here is the invoice that has been started for us. It has their name and has their information, their terms. Um, everything is uh, uh, already pulled up here for us. So now we want to pull over the um, estimate, the information from the estimate over here. So we're going to click on add. 
you will get this pop-up and asking you how much you want to invoice for it. You have several options here. One of the entire amount, a partial amount, or a custom amount for each line. We want the second one, so we want to, he wants to invoice for half of it now and then half of it later. So um, we want to click on the button next to 50%. Um, when you do, it automatically shows us 50%. Now, if you are doing this in real life and you only want to do 20% or you know 70%, you can make the adjustment here. And when you do, QBO will automatically calculate the amount here for you. So we are good. This is the 50% that we want it to be. So click on copy to invoice. And you will notice here that each line is showing as is reduced by 50%. It says here 50% of the total, um, which is 750 for as an example for the design, um, which is half of that would be $375. So this invoice is good to go to send to developer photography. We are just going to, rather than saving and sending, because you can't actually send here from the sample company, though you could do this in a real life situation, we are simply going to save and close. So click on the down arrow next to save and send right here and select save and close. And there you go. You have now created a partial invoice from the estimates. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in our cool down section where we practice reconciling the checking accounts. And I will see you in the next video.